Hey guys, welcome to another, well this time it's going to be a diagnosis video. How to diagnose your car noises. In my case, 07 Toyota 4Runner, rear wheel drive. I know, it's a 2Runner. Some of you may know that I actually drove this car from Texas, Houston, from Houston, all the way back to Chicago area because it has no rust but for the 1200 and something miles I had a loud kind of a humming noise sounded like possibly bad tires which they were uh, possibly uh, rear bearings or a possible rear diff bearing or even uh, pinion or ring gear. So let's the easiest fix would be tires You know, I sure was hoping it was the tires But because when I looked at them while still, you know at Houston buying the car or truck You can see that the threads are if you look at them Well, let's I guess from top view in this case You can see that this thread for example is lower. This one's higher lower higher. It's these it's got these scales going on and you can also see that like for example this part is kind of more black this is more dirty more black dirty so this means that this is contacting the road this is not you know it's just you can kind of see that it continues and i was told that these tires were put on for some reason by the previous owner in the rear why? I don't know. I, I never will. I maybe was lied to. Who knows? And now I suspect that... Well, I think the rear diff is, has to be replaced. Well, bearings. Hopefully just bearings at this point, not the uh, uh, gears. Hey, uh, previous owner, if you're watching this, I'm not mad. It's okay. I forgive you. So as you can see, I did replace tires. But blue paint is still coming off. These are brand spanking new. All four, all the same. And uh, it was the tires. Mm -mm. I actually had some play in the front wheels too. I did replace bearings uh, by Koyo. Bearings by Koyo. And it wasn't the noise. I actually had noise in the front. But that was an easy fix. It was a combination of the bearings and this idler pulley check this out i actually diagnosed this the same exact way when i diagnose the rear diff and the rear bearings because there is no play in them and even if there is play in some bearings hubs whatever you got they won't necessarily make noise with play in them all right so using this stethoscope this tool this doctor tool or if you don't have that this is cheap it's like 10 bucks or this okay with a screwdriver anything that's long and you can put it to the bearing or whatever and your ear and it's best if it's a if it's metal through and through like this guy here obviously you're gonna raise if you got all-wheel drive four-wheel drive raise, raise the whole vehicle if you have only rear wheel drive or front wheel drive, raise that part of the vehicle, obviously. We're gonna pop the door. We're gonna start the vehicle. We're gonna put it in drive. Wheels are, are spinning now. But you can see, or not, I don't know. As soon as I come close to the throttle, you hear that noise? I'm trying to accelerate and the RPMs are going down. So I can't really spin them any faster. So you can see, I mean, you can still diagnose, but it's better if they spin faster. And throw, it, throw it back in neutral and just shut it off. I'm gonna go under the hood. Now this is only for the 07, okay, 08. Maybe 07 and down, 08 and up, or yeah, 08 and up, have your the VSC button 
you can turn those uh, your traction control off. On this guy, you pull the uh, this this guy here. Let's try this again. Right, check this out we got some VSC track light on and the traction control and I can hear the noise from here all kinds of lights man that is loud can you hear that could that be the bearing to put a pipe against the seat uh, against the seat and I keep keep it uh, you know RPMs up but I don't have to it's for some reason staying at 40 miles an hour which is plenty uh, when I get underneath no this is not dangerous the car is not gonna fly off the lift quiet This one is a little bit noisy, but not much. I had to uh, go back inside and use that pipe and raise the RPMs a little bit because it was actually slowing down. But that's how that's by the way how you turn off your traction control just by pulling that plug from the uh, master cylinder reservoir uh, thing. Anyways, let's let's talk about it. Okay, this is a kind of a weird situation and confusing. Let's just take one side for example, okay? So it looked like it, well, it sounded like the noise was coming from the bearings, okay? Standing outside. But using the stethoscope and listening right here where the bearing is, obviously, this is quiet. It gets louder and louder every two, three inches or so as you get closer to the, the carrier uh, right here and you have your ring gear right here spinning this way and you have a bearing here and you got a bearing here okay there's a total of four bearings in this rear differential there is sometimes five you know or whatever but this one has four there's one, one here one here there is two more on the pinion gear, on the pinion shaft uh, where, where the ring gear, or the pinion gear is. And it's, there's a lot of noise right over here from both, evenly from both. But if you just kind of put your head over here, it's a different kind of sound. This makes kind of a kind of grindy sound, like you know and from the outside when you're standing by the wheel on the outside it makes more of a humming noise like you know so it's a versus a and there's more right on the right on the bearing which is right in here there's another bearing there's a whole lot of noise here, and there's another bearing right here. 
almost no noise here. Obviously, different noises transfer through metal easily, but out of the out of all the the carrier case, right over here, it's the least noisy. Okay, most of it, it's right right here. This is most of the noise, and then right at the shaft uh, flange right there. Now the left side bearing is a tiny bit more noisy than the right side, but still I... I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take a gamble and, and say that it is the... Uh, the rear differential, which is a bummer. I already ordered parts. Koyo. Uh, Rock Auto actually has a set, a rebuild kit, which includes bolts, gasket, um, four bearings, uh, you know, races obviously, um, a crush washer, some, something else I forget. Anyways, and it's not really all that difficult to remove um, the, the dropout uh, differential, um, at least on this year, uh, what you gotta do is remove the drive shaft, remove the what I'm gonna do, and I hope it's gonna work, I'm gonna remove this clamp on the brake line here on top, because this is steel and this part is rubber, and remove the caliper brake with the bracket altogether. Leave the, the brakes, you know, right in this vicinity. Uh, also gotta remove the parking brake line, which is just behind there. Um, and then, these four nuts here, I think they look like 17s. Then you should be able to slide the axles out a little bit for maybe five inches just to clear the case. Probably four inches is, is enough. And they can just rest, you know, still inside. All the axle can rest on the inside there. Uh, no need to pull them out altogether. And then this thing will. Uh, well, there's obviously there's bolts on the other side there. Drain the oil, and this will slide out. And then you gotta remove all the bearings, the races, oh, the seal, you know, and then drive in new bearings, put in a new seal, adjust preload, lash. Easy, nothing to it. Should be done in no time. Hopefully the rings are in good condition, because then it's gonna get pricey and Land Cruiser, different Tacomas, whatever, without the locker, it's all very similar. It's just a matter of very important to adjust the preload and the lash. Now I know I did say I was gonna pull out the axles fully, just enough to, uh, so I was able to pull the different diff out, but I've noticed something I'm gonna show you in a second. Well, the, the difference between Pulling it enough and pulling it fully is is this the parking brake line. To get to that, you need to remove the parking brakes. But as soon as I pulled it, pulled the axles away, well, one side, which was the right side, the less, the more quiet one. Remember, I, there was a little bit of noise on the left side, uh, super quiet on the right side. So this is the super quiet side. Now I did clean off this brown tan, tannish kind of uh, grease. And you can see this bearing is leaking. Okay, it was, uh, you know, quite a bit of it all around. I did wipe that off. But you can see what's going on over here. So, no, I mean, this, this needs to be replaced, okay? But if I spin this, I mean, there is some noise, but it's not, it's not bad. Now this guy here, this guy is leaking something else. This is... To me this looks like... Moisture and grease. All going... Coming out through the seal. Okay, you can see how wet this is this should be dry you know more or less because remember there's a seal right here too so i 
doubt that this is from the outside because it's oily okay this is oily stuff but this one is not so quiet you hear that so what if what if the way this is built what if that sound from the bearings this one is bad obviously the left side is traveling into the diff uh, while I was standing outside by the wheel it was very noisy it, it sounded exactly like the noise when I drive but sitting and listening to the stethoscope uh, to the diff underneath the car it uh, sounded like more grindy not not instead of a howl it was a more grindy noise so I think just for science, for you guys, well, for, you know, for myself, I'm not gonna do the diff. I'm only gonna do the bearings. I mean, you could argue that this this is also part of the axle. I mean, uh, part of the uh, bearing. This guy here, this 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 metal piece around, and this that's also part of the bearing. Okay, I mean the bearing, you know, inside there, that's the bearing. So it could, you could argue that it could travel right through here, through these, you know, uh, studs and down the, the tube into the diff. I am tempted to take the diff apart, you know, and just, I got the parts, just do the bearings and all that stuff. I mean, if, if you're a mechanic, then you might know. Sometimes if you, someone comes in with a, you know, bearing noise, uh, Nissans in particular, there can be kind of confusing where the noise is coming from. Uh, you're gonna change a bearing, thinking it's a bearing, and it's gonna be something else. Uh, not besides the tire issue, you know, an uneven wear on tires, which also makes a very similar bearing noise. Uh, could be like the, in the little bearing on the intermediate shaft traveling into the bearing and vice versa. You know, example, this is a good example. So I think I'm just gonna just to find out if I'm right or wrong I'm only gonna do the rear bearings leave the diff alone and see see what we come up with all right guys update on the on the rear bearings I'm doing two videos at once I'm doing the the radio install video and doing the diff bearing noise video so here are the races I got three because one just got destroyed and I don't know where it went. But on this one, this is the more slightly more noisy one, left one. There is some tiny pitting on the race, which you're probably not going to see. This one is just polished. And here we have kind of both more polished than pitting so I know for a fact that both bearings were bad inside there you have quite a bit of moisture the grease is just you know it's it's done no I'm sorry this is the one that leaked out this is the moisture one look at the difference <clears throat> in the grease so this is the rear left this is the right so I'm pretty sure I mean it's obvious that the bearings were bad and making noise for sure I did buy me this special tool to do the bearings but I didn't realize that this part here this guy right here would not fit through my Harbor Freight press or bench I guess through here because the way this works is you rest it on that bench you have the axle in this attaches to the to the bolts from the bearing you know the back plate and all that stuff so you're holding on to the bearing and you're pushing the axle down with your press but but this needs to rest on something right so this didn't fit the idea is to you know fit it through and then twist it and this lays down on the press so I had to build something 
So I built this, I had these pieces. I actually went for to Home Depot and I bought this piece, this thick ass piece of metal, welded it together, still wasn't enough. So I welded these two, this is what I had. And it worked. Now I have a rear bearing Toyota, Nissan, Isuzu, possibly something else bearing tool, which was 180 bucks for the two pieces, Amazon. But it worked out. I got a chance to clean some stuff. This back plate was bent. Actually, while I hit it on the press, I used a pry bar and, well, unbent it. So I gotta put the parking brakes back on and just, just you know, basically put it all back together. You guys, quick test. Just started it 30 seconds ago. I'm not gonna bother turning it, turning the wheels faster, upping the RPMs. Because I already I did the brakes too, new rotors, new pads, so they are rubbing a little bit. But there is less noise at the wheels. But I, I still hear something, some kind of noise traveling from the center or something, I don't know. It is definitely less noise. I guess I gotta drive it. Back to square one. Well, not entirely. So I did drive it late last night. And it's still making the humming noise. But now it's... Now you can kind of really tell it apart that it's coming right from, from the middle. So... Gotta do it all over again. Well, it is less work. I don't have to dismantle the parking brakes. That's a lot, a lot of work saved right there. But the bearings were bad, so had to be done anyways. So didn't really lose anything, just a <clears throat> little, little bit of time. Guys, 20, 25, 20, 25 minutes later, all you gotta do, well, 07, two runner, V8. All you gotta do is, I did cut this open a few days ago when I was removing the axles. So I don't know why they, they do it, you know, if this wasn't cut, then you have to remove the uh, brake line from the brake hose, and then you gotta bleed the brakes and blah, blah, blah. So just do yourself a favor if you're gonna do this, just cut this open just so the hard line goes through. You're gonna remove this 12, here's some light, this 12 mil here, 12 mil here, the four 17 mil nuts hold the bearing on and you probably may even get away without removing the the whole caliper bracket because this hose is long enough uh, to stretch you know this far I mean you can see but since I got it off the bolts first anyway just flipped it over and this is it oh yeah and don't forget the ABS speed sensor here and that's it. That's all you're doing. And don't worry about the seal. This is probably two eighths of an inch. Well, maybe an eighth away. It's not resting on the seal at all. I'm gonna wait for a little longer for this to drain. I did save on the oil a little bit. I'm gonna use this to top it off because it takes three and a bit uh, when fully dry. I did. I do have brand new oil. This is what I'm actually putting in. For towing, this is the same, just a different container. Yeah, keep something underneath the axles because that's gonna leak too. Now, drive shaft. I I actually never even looked at it. It's I think it's four. Usually it's four nuts, four bolts, four nuts, and then the nuts or bolts around the diff. Should be easy. All right, so four nuts with washers. Okay. Uh, 14 mil with washers and then uh, whatever amount what is this one 10 10 <clears throat> 12 mil nuts with washers also is it yeah it is 10 I also did take the sway bar off uh, the bushing area four altogether both sides four 12 mil bolts and then basically pushed it down to relieve this hook on both sides and then pulled it or pushed it up 
and just shoved it. No bungee cord necessary. It's gonna give you the room to take the diff out. And look where the axle sits. So that's what you need to clear. You're gonna feel that. Actually, maybe even less, less than that. To clear the diff. What's on the bottom? Oh, it's clean oil. I'm gonna dig through that a little later. See if I find any chunks or whatnot, but I doubt it. So that's it for taking that out. Let's look at the diff. All right, well, I mean, there it is. This is uh, an open diff, meaning it's got spider gears inside and that's it. No clutches, no, no nothing. There, I think you may be able to see the spider gears. Okay, and that's it. So I think, so see, you can see where the axle comes out. So that's even way too far. Actually, let's uh, see. So the bolt, you got another half an inch. And this is basically way inside there. So you don't even have, so that's two inches too far. So yeah. So I'd say about, pull it out about four inches. Or whatever you got, you know. First I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure the lash, the movement. Let me put you down. The movement between the ring gear and the pinion gear. Very little. I would say it's it's in spec. So I'm not even gonna bother. Should be seven thousands, I believe. Seven, eight thousands. Or between six and eight, something like that. So I do have a set of bearings. Let's actually look at that. So this came from AutoZone, believe it or not. This is the part number. They're all the same. I hope this fits. And it's got the Koyo and Timken bearings. Here you got the the drive shaft seal or the pinion seal, crash washer. I don't know what these are for. Brand new bolts. Oh, we're not taking that off, are we? I think these are it. Yeah, we're not taking this off, so no need to worry about that. And these two are for the carrier bearing by Timkin, made in Japan. And these are Koyo. This would be the, the bigger pinion, and this would be the smaller pinion bearing closer to the front or the drive shaft. And you got, we got some paint, Loctite, and a brush, which is nice. This whole set cost $300 or so. You know, this is a lot of, well, it's going to be a lot of work. So I'm not putting anything made from Chinesium, you know what I'm saying, in here. Mm -mm. Better pay more, even double, for whatever the, the cheapest is. I, even, I didn't even look at the cheapest. And get it done right. Obviously, I'm going to check all the teeth. These look good, not worn out. I'm going to check for chips. Same on the on the pinion gear. There it is. Looks good from here, just you no know, polished. But mainly, we're after the bearings. I'm going to mark first. I'm going to mark the caps. You know, with a punch, like do a one and one hole or a mark do a two and two this will tell me th these gotta go back to its original spot uh undo these well then then gonna take these off this, these will the cats will come off this whole differential will come out i'm gonna put it aside we're gonna knock out the pinion gear you know undo the knot there whatever size that is look at all those bearings got an update and a good one so these would be the carrier or the diff bearings the, the side ones, left and right. And there is a tiny, tiny amount of pitting and lines here and there. This camera sucks at close up, but I'm gonna try and, I mean, maybe you you can see it on your big screen monitor, you know, not on your phone, but you know what I mean? So it's, and it's actually shows an even wear. And let's, the, the other side looks pretty much same and we can let's look at the races this dark spot that's probably from heat and more pitting and this guy just has uneven wear 
and I, I hope you guys can see this but see this bright stuff and then there is more dark here dark area bright area just uneven wear so these are definitely making noise let's look at the, the biggest guy of them all again a little bit of pitting and just lines going across tiny tiny dots and lines right here you can see uh I don't know if you're going to see it, but there's line, uh, just a big old line right across the bottom there. And here's the race of that same bearing. Just, you know, same basically as the bearings in themselves. Let's flip this over. Look at the main, the bus. The bus that caused all these issues. Well, you know. The main culprit here, check this out. Man, I sure hope you guys are going to be able to see this. this. This is the whole point of this video. I mean, you can even hear it. Especially this guy here. Can you see this? You see the pitting, heavy pitting. On this roller especially. Heavy heavy pitting so this guy was making most of the noise and check out the race you can see the the dots just pitting everywhere just all of them across the board every possible bearing in the back including the axle bearings were making noise bastards ganged up on me and just started you know everywhere well Still gotta pull out the races, pull off the bearings. So I'm not gonna do any more updates. I need to get this done today. It is, it's almost 5 p.m. I'm probably not gonna get it done today. The guy you wanna watch is the practical mechanic. And that is it. All right, guys, enough talk. Let's, you know, fix it. And we're gonna hopefully bring the good news. Guys, update. Final, I think. So here's everything that has been done. All possible bearings in the rear besides the transmission. And and we also did the front bearings, but they're not on the table. So these are the rear axle bearings. Somewhere here are the races. And this guy in the front of the diff, where the shaft is, that was the main issue, main noise. And this is how I took out that race from the inside. And I tried the same concept, uh, you know, welding a bead of weld around the race. But did this one, and this is on the, this was on the pinion shaft but this one did not come out i had to cut it open and then i what i did was on several of these and this one as well i basically i took an air hammer and just started hammering right over here until it broke didn't want to grind the pinion itself where it, where the bearing where the race sits on all right so i already did the up in the air spin test and I can tell you already that it's it's just it's it's pure silence. It's like can't hear nothing. Okay? From the diff. Didn't drive it yet. Wanted to leave it. Wanted to see my own expression when I you know when I'm out there driving it for the first time. So let's take it for a spin. Alright guys, just pulled out. Not even doing 10. Let's go faster. Oh. Finally. 30 miles an hour. Yeah. 
Man, it's so quiet in here. <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh man, I drove this probably about 1300 miles, maybe a little over, with that noise. All kinds of noises. Front bearings, rear bearings, rear diff, the idler pulley. Still gotta replace the idler, the serpentine belt tensioner pulley and the tensioner but man this is so much nicer now I can tow this thing really just drives like brand new awesome well this kind of proves to you that you know if you're buying a car out in the parking lot it can it might cost you you know and I think uh, can really tell you uh, I, also, I also bought a set of uh, timing uh, belt kit with water pump, you know, um, also doing the radiator. I got a small, not, it's not a leak, it's kind of dirty, but I just, you know, I want to make it perfect. So I'm replacing that too. Now parts, most parts were from Rock Auto. Not the cheapest parts, remember that. Uh, they do have coil, Timken bearings, uh, NTS. Uh, CFS uh, radiator, which I've been waiting for uh, for quite some time uh, ASIN timing kit So I'm actually buying good stuff quality stuff original stuff just by cheaper price basically uh, So what have we done we have done Well all the bearings that I, like I mentioned still don't gonna do the timing set timing kit did uh, rear pads and rotors uh, The rotors were too far gone although I had plenty meat plenty of meat on the pads the rotors could not be cut they were garbage so I ended up buying a whole new set that was cheap actually I paid 150 bucks uh, all the various clips you know the painting the the rust proofing all that stuff I think it I'm probably in like three thousand dollars or so maybe not maybe less I don't know remember I did it all myself so if you were to buy this and you would not be able to do any of it yourself, you, you would have to pay a shop to do it, you'd be paying a lot. Uh, and you would not have it done, for example, the, the painting of the frame. I doubt that anyone else would do such a good job, detailed job, like, like I have done to my own vehicle. Uh, you know, so just... Just be careful what you're buying, take it to a mechanic. Oh yeah, tires, also got new tires. Man, this is... I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> oh man, since I bought this thing. Nice. Alright guys, this is it. I don't want to bore you too much, but... Uh, yeah, kind of a, a lesson... Kind of a lesson learned. All right, guys, if in any way this helped you out, like, subscribe. If it didn't help you out, dislike, whatever, comment. Do something. All right, guys, see you later.